Hey everybody, Akash Enzi here, presenting what does it mean to be a biotech analyst at a consulting firm, at a strategy consulting firm? What is the day like for this type of person? What type of work are you doing? What type of experience do you need? Just going through the whole background of this and kind of a, a brief explanation of this. I've gotten a couple questions on this from a few different people. So I wanted to uh, give the idea of what a day in the life is like. So we start with, uh, I guess, what a day in the life is a day in the life is like. I usually get into the office uh, anywhere between ten and eleven on an on an uh, usual day, and there I'll start reading. I'll start by reading the news. So on the drive in, in and of itself, I'm usually listening either to a podcast, a biotech podcast, or um, some type of business podcast. Modern Success by Brian Casella is one of my favorites. Um, and I'm usually just getting into a mindset of what's going on in the news um, and really just continuing to kind of have an attitude or a mindset of I act, I act, I act. Nothing really is an impediment for me. Rather, when I recognize something that's an impediment or that I think is an impediment, I simply recognize that that's the exact task I need to be doing at that point. After listening to the news or glimpsing through it on my emails, I'll often send out notes to a couple of the uh, project managers or or the consultants who are really heading up a particular consulting project, letting them know if there's anything in the news that's ongoing that they should be aware of. Um, from there, I'll move on into the day and I may, be, I may have a couple different uh, projects ongoing, anywhere between three and seven um, consulting projects themselves. Um, in each of these, usually the type of work that I'm doing is Excel uh, and PowerPoint. These are largely the two programs that I'm operating in, as well as the databases. There's a, a bunch of secondary databases out there. Um, and that's kind of how I'm spending the majority of my time is going through, figuring out the data for each of these databases that we need to pull and, and analyze. Um, and then I'll use Excel as my program to work it up. And then lastly, the deliverable is usually a PowerPoint file. So we'll use any of these different types of any of these different types of programs to run through um, and talk through uh, the analyses themselves. Now, what's, what does an analyst do? What's their purpose? Why are, they, why are they important within a consulting firm? So an analyst, a research analyst, is primarily tasked with putting together the, the basis of a PowerPoint deck. And a PowerPoint deck is a deliverable. In other words, this is what we give the clients um, and this includes all of the analyses and insights that we provide after conducting all of our research. It's kind of a, uh, a presentation, if you will, for the clients. So the analyst is usually the ones preparing the slides of analytics or graphics, uh, pie charts, tables, um, really putting together the backbone of the PowerPoint itself. Or when I say backbone, I mean like uh, the layers to it. So. Um, there's usually a background story to a PowerPoint file itself. And then along with the story is you have little snapshots. So the analyst is the one putting together those little snapshots, oftentimes after given direction from some, some of their other team members. So largely they're the ones really crunching away at the actual deck itself, the physical tangible objects uh, that's handed off to the client. Um, that's the primary, uh, uh, piece that analysts work on, as well as the analysis themselves. So this is anything, as I mentioned, going through a database. Uh, in, in, in my capacity, I've done anything from looking at Evaluate Pharma sales data. So in other words, there's a database that has all of the drug sales in it. And so we'll pull information from there, analyze this information. So maybe we're only interested in what are all of the, what's all of the, what are the top 10 cancer drugs? So we'll look into that. Um, and then from there, we'll put it into a PowerPoint file in which we'll kind of graphically illustrate this um, and add on a layer of insight or knowledge about the industry based on all of our prior experience and such. So this is, th this is a classic type of uh, task that an analyst may be um, given. So. These are kind of a couple of the different pieces to what is it like being like an analyst itself. So that's, I may have a few projects like that. I may also have a, a pipeline poll is what we call it, 
So we'll look at all of the drug database or the two drug databases that we subscribe to, and we'll do some searches. So advanced searches on them, kind of pulling certain criteria so that we get certain drugs in our screen. From here, we'll analyze this, this data piece and then end up putting it into a PowerPoint table um, or a, a bullseye chart in which uh, one can visually see very clearly and very easily um, what is the landscape like for new drug development in a particular indication or uh, market. So an example of this might be, um, maybe we wanna know what are all of the rheumatoid arthritis drugs that are currently in development, in clinical development. So we would look through these drug databases looking at, okay, well, what are all of the drugs that are in preclinical? What are the drugs that are in phase one, phase two, phase three, registration and market it. And we'll take all of this information after we do some analysis and clean up the data, then we put it into an output of a PowerPoint or a bullseye in which uh, we'll split it out and, and we'll classify some of the, dr the drugs in different categories. Um, and it'll, it'll spit out uh, a, a bullseye that kind of visually easily so shows that, wow, there's a lot of competition maybe in, in the marketed drugs area space versus there's uh, very little competition in, in phase two in one of the categories. So it's really helpful to kind of get a good sense of what are the drugs that, that uh, someone might need to be taking, keeping an eye out and looking for, as well as understanding the importance of um, some of these uh, different drugs and how they may play moving forward. Lastly, something in the day that I might uh, end up working on is, is a PowerPoint deck that maybe one of the um, consultants or project managers are delivering for some type of presentation. It could also be something along the lines of pulling in analyst forecasts. So Wall Street analysts will forecast what they expect drug sales to be, um, as well as do a write-up on a company. So it could be a publicly traded company and they'll do a brief write-up and summary of, well, what's going on in, in this particular company after uh, an earnings release was announced. And I know a lot of these terms are probably very like, what are you talking about? I'm more than happy to go into more videos around what am I actually talking about and explaining some of these terms in more basic ideas, but uh, this is it's flowing a bit uh, faster in this way. Um, that Those types of analyst reports are often used to inform um, either project managers or consultants as to what's going on with this company. Um, is, is it something worth investing in or is it something worth becoming more aware about for as, as in there may be competition um, or could it be a potential client for us? So these are all of the, the different things that an analyst would do kind of on a day to day. Um, there's a few other tasks, but uh, this is kind of it at a high level. And it's really, really interesting work in the sense that we're able to really dig down deep and, and get to know a space very well. So when I say space, it could be an indication or a disease. Um, it could be uh, a drug class. So like in, in the case of like gene therapies or cell therapies, it could be a, a mechanism of action. So um, like a, a BTK inhibitor or some such thing, or, or a very particular type of um, inhibitor uh, or, or stimulator. Um, so these are, or different geographies as well. So very important to get an understanding of these things for drug developers to make their decisions on what drug should we develop first? What uh, type of indication should we develop this drug in? And three, uh, what market should we be entering? Should we be staying in the US? Should we be going abroad? These are a few different types of questions that a drug developer might have and that analysts would support a project manager or consultants on. Um, working through these things. So I hope you guys enjoy this video today. Um, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to kind of talk through some of these things and explain um, what do these concepts mean. So with that, I, I leave you to it.